a window into the un collective unconscious of humanity. Joanna Barthe's work echoes this profound notion as her portraits extend beyond the confines of the individual self. They become a mirror in which we can glimpse our shared human experiences. Her small canvases resonate with universal themes, archetypal symbols, and emotions that are common to us all. These individual portraits, they are all different as you look closely, are displayed as an installation. It's a project which focuses on portraying different, diverse emotional expressions of human beings. These portraits are not just images. They are gateways into the depths of the human soul connecting us to a shared unconscious narrative. Oh, that works. And that's even more interesting. Because it's like I'm looking to the keyboard and like... At yourself, though. I hope there's uh -huh. always me. Yeah. <laughs> but that's because I'm a piece of a drama. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what artist is it? Hey, sorry, so. with respect to all this. <laughs> but I definitely I agree with a lot of what you said. And in fact, this evening we'll be also exploring um, together with Claire and Julia also how psychology um, you know, interweaves into their work uh, um, in some way and how it's affected them perhaps personally. Has it been a driving force or has it happened uh, subconsciously? Um, so in fact, I'd like to start with a question actually uh, to open up some more discussion with, to Claire. Um, but of course, if anyone is free to, even the public, please join in. And you need like, uh, don't need to put up your hands. Um, so how does your work tap into psychology? We, we know that Claire wrote a dissertation entitled Post-Truth Imagery Makes the Quest for Truth a Subversive Political Act, which focused on relationships, uh, on the relationship of online imagery. Um, people and the truth and lies um, one is confronted with, um, especially online, you go on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, the idea of curating one's own image, both literally and sociologically. Could you please tell us a bit more about this, Claire, and uh, what engaged you to touch on this specific subject? Are you hearing me outside? Of the <laughs> so, um, as you rightly introduced the, the topic of my dissertation, it started off because I've always been fixated, maybe it's because of my scientific background as well, on what is true, what, is it, what are the facts, I want to know what's true and what's false, categorizing it. So I set off on my journey to try and figure out the um, objective truth, and obviously you need to focus on, particular, on a particular area. And I decided to go down the route of social media because it's something that's ever so present, something that impacts us no matter how much we'd like not to admit it. And that is how it started evolving because then it's not just when you're seeing images on social media, you're not just seeing your friend, you're seeing a better version of your friend, you're seeing a curated version of your friend because you get the chance to before you post an image, you figure out the angle. It's, but in doing that doesn't mean that it's not True. It's just a I'm <laughs> 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 